How's everybody doing? This is Cal here from Calcraft. Welcome back to Building a Survival Base. Ooh, I'm excited. I know another late episode, but trust me, it's a good one. Now let's run through the base real quick, all right? Let's check out what we got. We started with the starter house. We got it in place. We then built the wheat farm so we can get some basic food right away. We got that all set. We bounced over. We built the mine because, you know, we got to get resources. We then built the surrounding wall to encompass our entire base, lock it into a surrounded area. And last episode, we got nether capabilities as we built the nether tower. Lookout tower and nether. Of course, we have paths all interconnected, lots of opportunity within this area, and lots of direction that we could take this entire project. By the way, you see that starter house? A lot of people are asking if we're going to upgrade it. We definitely will. Two-story house for sure. But that's not what we're doing in this one. In this one, we're doing that area to the left that you can kind of see a little bit. You saw it in the thumbnail. You know what's going on. We're building an animal farm. Now, I want to talk to you about the Building a Survival Base series and the speed and the direction to take it. I'm going to cover that in the end of the video, so make sure you watch until then. But first, we got an awesome project, the animal pens. Let's build them out. All right, it's time. We need a better source of food, so we're building some animal pens. At this point, you know, we're getting sick of the wheat, the bread. We need some real meat. We need some food. So we're going to build up these animal pens. So I built it in this low area. It comes off the mine shaft. It's beautiful in that way. We have that interconnected path. It runs out into this area. I told you we were going to build up in this area. And we're going to use it. We're going to build it up right here. So it's pretty cool. So that's the location. That's pretty key. I'm going to build a barn style building to enter into the pens on this far side. The path will come out straight from the mine into this barn. It's going to be really cool. And we'll have all the animal pens to the left side. It's going to be really sweet. Now, first off, this building, the barn, the roof is so key. The roof came out so perfect. Look, it's stairs, then stairs, then slab, slab, slab to the middle, then the same underneath. So make sure you copy that. It builds the right curved shape, and it's really cool. Now, we're going to build it up with wood. I tried to get some stone integrated into this, but to be honest, if you think about a barn, they have the slabs, you know, the, the plank look on the walls already. So in the end, wood works out perfect. We're going to detail it up though. We're going to keep it very simple at the same time. It's perfect. And the way we did that is with these entrances on the side. The entrances look real cool. We did one on the side to enter into the pen area and one on the front to be the front entrance. We also did some broken out fences just to give it some simple texture and depth in the build. So make sure you add those in too. We did that on that, this side right here too, three of them. And then to get some more shape in that wall because it's pretty bland, we added those logs as a little detail and some green bushes to the side of it. So yeah, that's the build of the barn. It's really sweet. I love how it turned out. And now we're gonna build up the fence for the actual pens, which we're creating right now. Now it took me a little bit to get this design how I wanted it. We're doing it like the actual wall that you know we detailed around the entire base, but we're spacing it out differently so it's not generically the same, but it has you know some of the same styles to it. So it's the logs with the fence posts in between and the slabs on top. So we'll gap it out, it'll be cool. Now this is really key. Break out the terrain around so it's too high. You can't have any one high jumps or the animals will be able to jump out. That's very important. You wanna make sure the animals are locked into their pen obviously and not jumping out. And we did the same thing to close them up here. So we broke off that water source and put up like a log wall there. So you know, they're not swimming away, jumping off into different areas. This is gonna keep them locked in. And we're gonna have our distinguished areas. Now it's not your generic square shape. You know me, I don't like the square shapes. That's also why the fence isn't a straight line. We want to break it up. We want to make sure that there's some different directions, different shapes integrated in. Work with the environment and make it cool. So we added those walls. We made it pretty sweet there. Now the interior of this barn structure that we built up. First off, we want the path interconnecting and running through to that other side, which is perfect. And then I'm putting coarse dirt to make sure it's dirt inside. You know, I picture dirt inside the barn. Wheat inside also adds to the story of the barn. We add some windows, those stairs upside down. And then, you know, we actually did some details on that back wall I'll show you in a moment when we're walking through. But we also put these item frames with the different meats that we're going to have in the barn just to put in our detail in there. And it makes it a simple but very storyline guided build. You know, I've said about 80,000 times now, have a story in your build. So it's perfect in that way. I change up this fence to give that animal pen some more room and then we're making the pass interconnecting between them. You see those four wide gaps in the fence post? There's actually two fence doors right there and we'll walk through it you'll see it in detail in just a moment but we're putting in the pass in between there you know we'll have the animals in this area and then we'll also have this one pen well not pen but walking area coming out from that entrance from the barn we also put in the path running to the barn and then we're getting to the critical part right here obviously we got to add in the animals so i separated them off i have pigs in that far side i have cows and i've got sheep in the bottom left these are the key animals i always use and focus on so that's what i went with 
You can walk through it all, we got the animals in place, and the animal pen looks so sweet. And it really does, check it out slotted into the base. It fills out that area against the edge of the hill very nicely. Looking very sharp, we got plenty of room down in this lower area as well. Base is coming together nicely. Again, I wanted to integrate the path off the mine here. So the idea here, and look, sun setting, but we can walk around in our lit base. We're at our starter house, we can walk down the path right here. Storyline all coming together, we run into the mine. Good looking area, of course, we got the mine shaft. Walk out the path into the animal pen area. We got the entrance through there. Looks sweet against the hillside, it's just perfect. I really love the barn design because it's so simple, yet it looks like a barn, yet it's in that very easy to gather wood texture. We got different chests that you could put meat in, I slotted in. There's those details I mentioned. We walk through into this area. There's gates walking through. We got another gate right here, and then if we fly up, you can't see it amongst all the animals, but there's another gate right there. This area is cool too. We can just walk around and exist in it. I put in some details just to support that hill right there. You know, that's very specific to my seed, but it all comes together. Ties in the build, makes it part of the base. And the final thing I wanted to mention, I put these hay bales on this back wall too. You know, it's pretty flat. When you get these flat walls, just bring out some depth on the side of them. That works too. Add in some bush, add in some colors. The build in general is really sweet. But here, now I'll move away from the animals so they're not too loud. The animal pens, the barns are in place. We can now get a more substantial set of food, which is good. You know, we want some better high quality food at this point. Now, of course, you could make a redstone farm if that's what you're into. I'm not much of a redstoner, so I just keep it simple with the animal pens. I do my breeding, my killing in there. Get my food, get what I need. Look at the nether tower right now. Looking sweet in the nighttime. But without distractions, the base is really coming together. But there's so many different directions that I could take it that I would love to hear your feedback to just, you know, kind of gauge the cowcraft community on it. We could build up different houses. We could build up different structures for storage, for smelting, enchanting, all those different pieces. We need them in place. They could each be an episode. Or I could pump it up and do multiple structures like that inside one episode. Or another thought of mine is to add another episode of this series throughout the week. Now right now it's crazy with school. I will be able to do more in the summer, which is coming up real fast. So that's something to think about. But if you would, let me know in the comments what you think of this series, the speed it's going at, and what you would like to see it move at. You know, I like to gather some feedback, so it'll be cool to see. Regardless, I'll keep going with what I can do. There's tons of ideas on the way that I'm looking forward to showing you. And of course, you can stay well connected with the Cowcraft community in the Discord and with me on Twitter. It's always happening. I'm always in contact. We're always doing cool things. The Cowcraft community, it's absolutely amazing. But yes, the barn and animal pens are in place. I love the addition. Hopefully you do too. But that's it for this one. Thanks for coming.